Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the last of our green mesh modeling tools, the PolyBuild tool. Now, the PolyBuild tool is a tool that uh, can be used to just to build anything kind of organically, and if you enjoy just kind of clicking around and making things happen, but I find that this tool is best used for retopology. And even though it's not perfect at the moment, uh, without retopoflow being in Blender 2.8, this is actually a pretty good substitute. So here's all you have to do. Uh, create a new object at the exact same position as the object you want to uh, retopol or you retopify, retopo, I don't know, retopo, the, the object you want to retopo. And uh, then we're going to set up our snapping settings. Now our snapping settings need to have a couple of things. So we want to be able to uh, snap to vertices on our own. We also want to be able to snap to the faces of what we're retopping. And then we're going to click the project onto self. All right, and project individual elements. So this is what your snapping would need to look at or look like when we add in the poly build tool. Now to get the poly build tool set up, you just start clicking and add in your first face and then select them all and hit F to fill in your first face. Now once you've got your first face, you can see that it will select the edge that you're going to generate a new uh, face on. And if you click and drag, it will now generate a new face for you. Now here's the thing, it's only generating triangles. And so while you can kind of take this and run with it, and it'll be just fine, if you want to select and make it back uh, to the uh, or to an all quad mesh, you'll have to do that manually by selecting everything, right clicking, and then tries to quads, which then makes it an all uh, or should make it an all quad mesh. Now, if we hide the orc, we can see did that actually work? Well, it worked in most places, it did not work here, um, potentially because those are not selected. So, if we remove double vertices. Okay, nothing was actually added. So for some reason it did not add that there, but it might be with how the mesh is set up. And then we want it to snap to its own face so that way we can put vertices on top of each other. And we'll kind of get them close. It's not perfect, but this is essentially how the poly build tool works. Well, then we'll remove the double vertices uh, and then we can try to quads. And if we hide the orc, we can see now that we have a bit of the orc outlined already, and we could keep going from here. Now the poly build tool, like I said, it's really good for retopology. It's also good if you wanna just generate a mesh out of nothingness, you just have to start with a single face. That being said, I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.